I'm here to suck blood and chew glomer goop, and I'm all out of goop. But vampire survivors, everyone. A character type that I feel is rare and untapped, and I've really only ever seen one other worth mentioning. Well, at least when it comes to those whose names begins with a W, that is. But I did do some digging on a hunch, and kind of found exactly that. An older, rare vampire survivor, just baking in the sun of potential, and I just had to put it out there. So folks, say hello to Vladislaus the Undying. A character created six flippin' years ago, he has got some stuff going for him, and plenty that never saw the light of day, unfortunately. And while that's somewhat appropriate for a character that actually hates the light, I can't help but wonder what a modern, refreshed version of Vladislaus would actually look like. Now, Emptiness, the creator of the mod, had some ideas for what to implement, from unique sleeper mechanics, craftable bat caves, and many other vampiric abilities. But don't fret, even what we did get from Emptiness caught my attention, and I hope it does the same for you. So let's get to it. And as always, we begin with his basic stats here. Vladislaus rests at 150 hunger, 200 sanity, and 125 health, respectively, rendering him pretty darn average across the board, minus that frail health, of course. Thing is, however, that 200 sanity will also not be lasting long either, as our mighty vampire here is not a huge fan of the sun at the end of the day. And because of this, expect to lose one sanity every four seconds or so during the day. However, things will rectify themselves later come dusk and night when the drain actually flips to a gain. A rather significant one at that to boot. But if we want the fastest gain out there, putting Vladislaus in complete darkness is definitely going to be the way to go. So embrace the night, folks. But let's not faff about. Let's get to the real fun. Vladis losses bat form. Whenever his health drops below 35 in total, he will instantly transform into a bigger, bulkier version of a battleisk, and a whole, whole mess of new doors open and close for this guy. For one thing, we can fly now and he's much faster while doing so, so take advantage. For another, however, an entirely new stat of his comes into play, known as Bloodlust. The stat itself is crucial to our overall survival, so keeping it from hitting zero will be an absolute must, but note that it will constantly drain by two and a half points every three seconds or so, making that task a little bit more difficult here and there. But what actually happens when it hits zero, you ask? Well, let's just say that Vladislaus the Undying becomes very much Vladislaus the Instantly Dead. Not great. Not great at all. Thankfully, however, we do have options to prevent that from happening, like killing any mods we can, eating insects, eating meats, etc. Be mindful though, while Vladislaus is technically immune to everything in this bat form, he will still take roughly half the damage as Bloodlust loss each hit at the end of the day. Know too, that you have two options for potentially reviving yourself out of this form. Either fly around eating all sorts of insects and meat like butterflies, fireflies even, and especially monster meats at the end of the day as it seems to be his favorite for a basic revival, but going for a survival as soon as possible like this is only gonna result in the return of some decent stat levels for you, but it will still skip the day so that could be useful. But if I were you, I would first try to kill a bunch of mobs and then choose to revive yourself with maximum bloodlust because then you will revive with maximum stats across the board. Hence why he is called the Undying Everyone. It's pretty neat stuff. But before we run down some of his other perks, one last bat mention would be that spiders are completely neutral to the bat form, while pigmen are not. And why is there such specifics there, and not just a full sweep of monsters versus just other mobs? I don't know, we'd have to ask Emptiness what they were thinking six dang years ago. But I also lied to you folks, that wasn't actually the last mention of bats. For you see, Vladislaus himself is a friend to battleisks and vice versa, and I'm willing to bet that most of you saw this coming. Thing is though, he can take things a step further by shoving meat into their gullets to actually befriend them, which I find to be quite fun for sure. 
Unfortunately, however, most of their loyalty mechanics are done broken nowadays, but these befriended pets were meant to help us gather resources and such like other befriended mobs, and you know what? It's the thought there that counts. Still, a huge benefit of loyal battlisks is that they will throw off a massive positive sanity aura for Vladislaus here, so the daytime drain of his is not going to be too bad now and then. Oh, and loyal bats don't sleep during the day either, so there's that too. But two last notes here. With Vladislaus being a fragile old vampire who bloody hates the sun, said hatred also extends to the summer heat, as he will not only begin to take damage from being hot faster than most, he will literally take damage faster than most when he is hot. Yeah, not great. But it makes total sense. And lastly, a mighty vampire like himself ain't got no patience for anything that isn't meat. So forget the fruits and veg at the end of the day. To add to this carnivorous diet, however, I would suggest that you stick to monster meat specifically, as he will still take damage and sanity losses from other raw meats, but not raw monster meat foods. But it's blood sucking time nonetheless. But there you have everyone, Vlad is lost the undying from emptiness for Don't Starve here. Technically it's only gonna work for Don't Starve and Reign of Giants at the end of the day, so bear that in mind. But I wasn't lying when I said that the mechanics we did get here were enough to draw me to this mod. However, I also wasn't lying when I voiced my concern about his untapped potential as well. So maybe Emptiness themselves will return one day to Vladislaus, or perhaps another will take up the reins and even port the sucker to Don't Starve together. But I promise you this, show Vladislaus here some love, and I will be right back to sucking blood as a bat. Thanks for all your hard work, Emptiness, and all of those who helped along the way. Thanks everyone for watching here today. I think it's time for all of us to blood suck while avoiding the sun, and I'll see ya. In the next one, bye-bye.